In this video, I'm going to share with you 22 must-have mods that will make your gaming experience much more pleasant, remove handicaps and help you focus on your performance. I'm using a Slains mod pack that contains 1 million mods. Oh, close to that number. At first, it was very difficult to navigate through, but after doing it once, the mod pack will remember your choices and every update, all you have to do is just to click through and exactly the same mods will be reinstalled in seconds. But I worked with Aslanes to create my own preset in his mod pack. So whatever mods you see in this video will be included in Ayuxin's setup, excluding Tour of Duty Auto Claim. Aslanes is on vacation and is going to be updated a little bit later. Personally, I do not use any XVM mods. I do not wish to see player stats and win percentages, as it can give you wrong impression of player's skill and in some cases can be very toxic. I love it, guys! Game hasn't even started! GG lost! 27 26% team! GG! Ah, G GG! We lose! Boop! 28%! 28%! We've lost, guys! We've lost! Wargaming is scamming us again! It says victory when it's a loss! It was clearly a loss! So, we are going to scroll through the XVM mods to non-XVM mods branch. And the first mod I choose is Armor Penetration Indicator from PMod. Default configuration. This mod is super useful to learn enemy weak spots as it shows the exact thickness of enemy armor at the point you are aiming at. This is especially useful when you want to use high pen HE rounds. Using this mod you can choose the weakest part of the armor, which will result in higher chance of dealing maximum amount of damage. Second, better reticle science. Most players know that if you aim until the enemy tank takes up 100% of the aiming circle, you will definitely hit. Some players have noticed that if you aim until the target takes up to, say, 90% of the aiming circles, it still hits every time. There is a good reason for this. A little known quirk is that the reticle is larger than the actual shell distribution, even when fully aimed. Shots only land in the smaller inner part of the reticle. This mod makes your reticle 29% smaller to match the actual shell distribution. Now you can connect shots faster, as long as you have no lag, because you don't have to wait for extra time for reticle to shrink fully. Keep in mind that it does not change the accuracy of your tank, it only a visual change. Using this mod I did encounter situations where the shell land outside of the reticle, but that is due to the fact that I play without server reticle and so there can be a slight delay between what is on my screen and on the server. This is probably also the reason why the vanilla reticle is a little bit bigger. But if you can deal with this, you might want to give this mod a try. If you are interested in the original post with more information, link to the Reddit page in the description. The third mod saved me a lot of time as a streamer. Displaying my equipment on the screen automatically answered thousands of questions. What I also like about this is that while watching other people replays, you can see what loadout they have. Fourth, safe shot. Must have mod that stops you from firing at teammates that went in front of you or at the tanks that were killed just milliseconds before you click that button. This mod is extremely useful as it saves not only your shot but also your nerves. Fifth, mark of excellence calculator by Lifsha. When I first saw this mod, I thought that Wargaming finally made it in the game. Design is awesome and it fits really well. You can hide it by using Ctrl to activate the mouse and click at, the min at minus. And by dragging it around the screen, you can place it in whatever position you like. On top of that, it also shows you the mark of excellence requirements in the garage, so you don't have to go to external sites. To check it. Sixth, player panel by old school under Alt key. This mod shows me exact number of enemy HP by pressing Alt. This is super useful as memorizing remaining HP of every enemy during the battle can be very difficult, 
This mod takes some of the pressure off, so I can focus on my performance. We do have a similar option in setting, but it only shows a bar without an actual number. Keep in mind that HP of the enemy is being updated only if they are in your render distance, once they are spotted. So this mod might show that enemy is full HP, which might be not the case, if they are fighting and losing HP outside of the render distance, or if they are taking damage with blind shots. 7th. Enemy spotted status old school. Another mod that I like for its design. The vanilla indicator for spotted tanks is a little bit too small for me, and it doesn't have any indicator for tanks that are still not spotted. So this mod is just my preference. Oh, now one of my favorite mods. Extended durations of six cents icon display. Usually after getting spotted your six cents will pop up for only three seconds. This mod makes it stay for 12. Since the time until you get unspotted is 10 seconds and plus two extra seconds if enemy has designated target crew skill. I use this mod to remind me how long 12 seconds are not to peek and receive damage while getting lit. Some of my viewers mistakenly think that this mod shows you when you are fully unspotted, but it isn't true. All this mod does is to make my light bulb stay for 12 seconds instead of 3. Ninth mod is fog removal. Simple mod that makes it easier for you to visually identify the target. It is especially useful on maps where you have to aim at long distances as you are able to spot possible cover of moving enemy. Tens mod. Free camera for garage and replace. Press Ctrl F3 and you are able to enjoy your 3D styles even more. For replays, I use this mod to take better picture of tanks for thumbnails. Early on, when I was motivated to get better, I would just fly around the map in search of possible positions. Maybe some low ground, rocks or bushes that I can use to my advantage. 11th. Garage Mastery. Simple element, clean design. It shows you the requirement for Ace Tankers. Nice addition to Lefsha Mark of Excellence calculator. 12th event reminder. This is a cool mod. Upon joining the game, it shows you what events are currently happening and for how long they are going to last. Nice reminder. 13th an anonymizer on battle results. Sometimes I get messages like, you are a bot? And instead of spending time checking the real name of the players who sent me the message from the previous game, this mod shows me the real name of the player for those who were anonymized in the battle. 14. Battle Hits Viewer. This is my favorite. Using this mod, I can check where my shots went, how I was panned, etc. I love it because I can better understand how to use my armor by hiding big spots as well as getting frustration out by learning where my shots were landing. I would recommend this mod for everyone, especially those of you who is just starting out and trying to learn weaknesses and understanding their own armor. 15. Replay Manager With this mod you can search through your replays using various filters. It will also include replays from other players if you put it in your replay folder. With this mod, I can also open those replays for nice display of results. 16th, custom battle button. With this mod, you can change the text of this button to whatever you like. 17. Armor Inspector by Protanki. Fast way to check armor of tanks that you have or that are displayed in tech trees. I still think that tank GG is better for this, but if I want to quickly check my own enemy armor without having uh, to leave the game, I use this. It is an amazing addition to battle hits, as you can check how much armor you had in the spot that enemy pen. 18. Auto Equipment Return for World of Tanks Plus users. This mod remembers choices of your equipment on a tank, both loadouts, and automatically puts it back to the tank without you having to find where this equipment is located. Since you can move equipment around for free with World of Tanks Plus, this mod does it for you. It is a huge time saver. 19. 
minimap mods, destroyed vehicles marker. This mod shows last position of killed enemies and teammates. I love it as I sometimes can tell the location of an unspotted enemy tank simply by looking at the position of my fallen teammates. To easier check where tanks were killed, you can hover over the list of tanks and on the map those tanks will be highlighted for a second. Connecting the dots, I can triangulate position of the enemy tanks. By the way, both of the, our tanks dead to the FV, FV should be here with the two kills. And this is how I am using this, mark of, uh, this modification to help me understand where the enemies are. Two kills, only two of our teammates died. FV is on the base. 20. Oh, this is another must-have mod. If you have shit internet and constantly have to wait for disconnect, for some reason it takes ages, use this mod and by pressing Ctrl K, this mod will instantly kick you from the server. Since loading back to the battle is much faster than rebooting an entire game, you can be back in action with just a couple of seconds. <laughs> Easy. Yo, that was fast reconnect, by the way, guys. 21. Ayuxin mod. Our mod has a few options. Scaling of battle events, if you are playing on a giant monitor, let's say, or just want to have bigger numbers of damage dealt. Zoom switcher. This allows you to activate X25 and deactivate it. I personally do not like using X25, as it makes it really hard to aim in close range. So, as long as I'm fighting in close range, I have X25 disabled. And as soon as I have, as I have to snipe at Upolas uh, on long distances, I e activate X25 to aim precisely. Snap to gun position. 5 head mod. Imagine you are aiming at the, the corner where you expect enemy to peek. But then you decided to look around. Right at this time, enemy peeks. Using this part of my mod, your camera will snap back to where your gun is pointed by press of a button. It makes it very easy to connect shots this way. Tactical view, zoom out. Actually, Death Games asked me to make this mod for him. With just a click of a button, you zoom out as far as possible, given that you don't have any mods that can zoom out further. Click button again, and you are back to previous camera position. And my all-time favorite, minimap zoom. This makes your minimap appear in the middle of the screen, making it much bigger. I use it to place accurate markers, blind shot RT, and much more. At the time of making this video, I find out about a mod that automatically claims Tour of Duty missions for you. This is extremely nice addition for everyone who wants to get Caro 45T for free, but just forgetting to claim daily rewards just like myself. These were my favorite mods that I use every day. Feel free to share mods that make World of Tanks easier for you, mods that you just can't imagine playing without. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we're gonna see you in the next ones.